Welcome to the courtroom today. We have some very interesting casework going on here, and I choose to be fair with everyone. So may we start with you, dear? Where's my dog? I need my dog. Can we get the Pomeranian? I'll hook that up. Mike will get it for you. Well, Your Honor, what happened was my husband, Martin, died. Oh, there's it Pomeranian. Happens. Look at that cute dog. Oh, I know. Look at that cute little it, Look at that cute ball. dog. This is the story of this dog, because three days later, this purebred Pomeranian wound up on my doorstep. And I looked at this dog, and I knew. It's Martin. So we're here today because Martin has a little ticker problem. And my, Martin, is that your husband? It's both, because this both. is the reincarnation of my husband. And, OK, oh, hey, I have. Oh, my God. Yes, darling. He's in the, yeah. Would you S show like we got the a movie judge here. this photo? You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Look, Let's look at the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the eyes. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> the dog just smiled at me. Yeah, well, yeah. When Pomeranian smile at you, it just yeah. means you just want something big. They, yeah. both, they both smiled at you. Yeah. So, because it has a little heart problem, I need insurance. And I went to pet insurance, and they said, was there a, a predisposing condition? And I said, yes. It's a heart condition that's been going on for 30 years, and they didn't even call back. And, you know, getting health insurance for a dead person is a bear. Oh, it's pretty null and void. Well, yeah. Yeah. they wouldn't do it. But it's not dead. Is this dead? Does this look dead? It looks like a dog. No. Not yet. So, I work <laughs> for Fred, and I'm happy. Fred's happy. We get along. And I've just become eligible for work insurance that has spousal coverage, huh? You following me? You get my drift? Yeah. Well. Spousal human. coverage? Yes. Human, you human. and the dog are not married. We are. Oh. We had our honeymoon in Bakersfield. You should have been there. You got married in Bakersfield? Well, we had our honeymoon in Bakersfield. Why? Did you see Buck Owens? He's a Bakersfield biscuit boy. Really? Oh. Buck Owens. Oh, yeah? All you got to do is act naturally. I've never heard that one before. It's a good song. One of his big hits. So I have brought, because Fred, with all due respect, has a very small mind. He said I couldn't put Martin on the policy. You feel like the spirit of your husband is at the bottom right now. I know it is. Have you been to any shaman? Well, or any I've been exorcist? to two animal psychics. One of them, Georgette, channels a dead squirrel and recognizes it immediately. A dead squirrel is channeling through that dog? No, no. The psychic, the psychic that I went to, like a shaman, I mean, shaman, psychic, yeah, similar, and said absolutely unequivocally, this is my dead husband. Did you pay the psychic to say that? I didn't pay her to say that. I paid her. Okay. I, there's a rub. She could have said anything she wanted. Who, the dog or the psychic? Well, either one, of course, but. Oh, I see. Yes. You got a two ring circus there going. No, look, Has the dog no. been x-rayed to see any particles of your dead husband's body in there? He has six toes. Your husband Martin had, had six your, toes. Uh, your husband had a lot bigger lungs than the dog had. Well, he never spoke in a little squeaky voice. I don't know that they were that much bigger, but... Did he ever work at Disneyland? He could have. He did not. Okay. Too That'd late now. That's a good place for him a squeaky voice, man. Yeah. They got oh, yes. thousands of eyes there running crazy. Oh. They do run crazy. Mm -hmm. All over. Good idea. I love them. I love mice. Yeah. I like to dress them up in tuxedos and ballroom gowns from the 20th century, oh. 15th century, and put them up there and let them dance together.